Dear Jane, I'd like to express here my friendship and admiration for your actions to promote the world's oceans, actions which for me are a model. It's a model of scientific rigor and discipline, as your work proves, combining the study of zoology, marine biology, and climate change. I recall very vividly my first trip to the ocean uh, and just discovered it was an amazing place. You know, the water was salty and it tasted different. It stung your eyes. It was just really uh, very different. Early in my career, I was focused really on understanding patterns and processes. But over the period of time that I was studying the same places, I began to notice many dramatic changes that were happening. Jane's work has been, I think, particularly impactful in expanding understanding of how marine ecosystems work and of how the functioning of marine ecosystems is linked to climate and climate change. The ocean is so depleted and disrupted right now, it's actually quite easy to be depressed about the future. However, I've seen remarkable turnaround. We have an amazing success story to tell in turning the corner and ending overfishing in U.S. waters. From 2000 to 2013, we went from having 92 overfished stocks to 40. And we went from having zero rebuilt stocks to 34. That's an incredible transformation that is due to two things the strong mandates to end overfishing with teeth and timetables that were science-based, and the use of catch shares. I think Jane was actually very effective in navigating the shoals of fisheries policy, working with people at the local level, taking approaches like the catch shares approach, which basically provides something for everybody while still protecting the resource. Science and public policy has always been a part of our DNA. Scientists have just a phenomenal job uh, being able to do research and discover new things. We, we love it. It's just pushing the frontiers of knowledge. It's, it's exciting, it's infectious, it's challenging, it's sometimes frustrating, but it's really cool. In exchange for the public funding that we get to doing that, we have an obligation to be more engaged with society. I like to say that I think scientists need to become bilingual that they should be able to speak the language of science, but also the language of lay people. And that's not easy for a lot of scientists, but I think it's critically important.